If you've been an Act user for a long time, you may not be taking advantage of how the new Groups feature works. In older versions of Act, you had to manually add and remove contacts from groups. So most people forgot to add their new contacts to existing groups, and the group memberships would be quickly out of date. That all changed with version 2005 or version 7. It's pretty easy in the new versions to look up just by right-clicking any field. You can quickly look up anything you want. However, groups are a great way to create save lookups with two or more fields. To create a new group in your ACT database, click the Groups slider button here at the left on the navigation bar. The group detail view displays. To create a new group, click on the new icon at the top of the screen or just click the Insert button on the keyboard. Enter the group name. Let's create a group for all customers that have an email address. Now we need to add contacts. You can either click this little icon right here that has the plus minus button or click the add remove button on the contacts tab. I'm going to select that one. Instead of manually adding contacts, let's use the criteria to determine which contacts will be part of this group. What we're going to start with is the type. You could create groups that are based on conditions that are in opportunities, but we're going to do it with contacts. I'm starting with ID status, so I'm going to click the field name here, and I just pressed I to move to ID status very quickly. From the operator, I'm going to choose contains because ID status in my database is a multi drop down, so I might have an ID status that contains several different values. So I want to make sure that if it has the word customer in it, whether it's the first word or the last word, I want it to be found. You can select from the drop down here or you can manually type in something. I want to add it to the list of criteria, so click that. Usually after I create my first criteria, I click the preview button so that I can make sure that everything looks fine. The only thing I see here is here's something that says former customer. I don't really want to include former customers in my database. So let's add a different criteria where I'm going to select ID status does not contain the word former. In this case, I'm going to type in former and not select it from the drop down. I'm going to add that to the list. Notice before I had a list of 65, when I click Preview again, it took it down two, so now I have 63. But now of those people, I want to look at the customers who have email addresses. So let's go back up to the criteria line and enter email. I think there's two ways here. You can say contains data. I could say contains an at sign. But I'm just going to say contains data. If there's anything in the email field, I want it to be selected. Once you select that, the value is grayed out and there's nothing that you have to enter. So I'm going to add that to the list. So notice what I've got. ID status contains customer and ID status does not contain the word former and email contains data. That's all. So now let's preview. I have 19. So I'm going to click OK to save the lookup and OK to save my new group. So you can see that here are the 19 contacts that are in the group. If I want to look up the group, all I have to do is right click, create lookup, or I can select the group to the left and use this little looking glass icon up here and it'll create my group of 19 contacts. It'd be a great time to send out an email newsletter to my contacts or my customers with email addresses. Harry Lime signed a contract with us today, so he's not a prospect anymore. He's a customer. Notice that we have 19. I'm going to go look up Harry Lime. And notice that he's a prospect. I'm going to change him to a customer and take him out of the prospect list. Let's go look up our group again. I'm going to slide here and say View Groups. 
customers with an email address and click OK. Notice that now we have 20 names. Let's try something else. I got an email from Bill Willis today. So originally I did not have his email address. So now I have it. Let's put it in. And let's try and look up our groups again. So view groups. Click on customers with an email address. Click OK. Excellent. I can see that our database has now been updated once again. Groups created using criteria are always updated. I hope this has helped you understand how powerful groups are and that it helps you to better segment your database. If you'd like to learn more about how to keep in touch with your clients and prospects, give us a shout at www.cornerstonesolutions.com.